Chet TV's studios in British Columbia. This is Chet TV News with Robert Springett. Hello and welcome to Chet TV News. We begin with a 12-hour standoff in Charlie Lake that ends with police finding one man dead and a two-year-old boy inside. The standoff happened on Rimrock Drive Sunday morning when police received a domestic complaint. According to reports, a woman managed to escape, but her two-year-old son was inside with the father. Police tried to contact the man. When that failed, they surrounded the building. The North District Emergency Response Team entered the house Sunday evening and found the man dead inside. The two-year-old boy was unharmed. The Independent Investigations Office of BC has been notified. A GoFundMe page has been set up for a Chetwin resident currently in a Vancouver hospital. You're looking at Karen Stewart, who was in our studios last December, talking about the Hamper Foundation in Chetwin. It is believed that Stewart possibly suffered a heart attack. Some of her family is in Vancouver supporting her right now. That's where the funds will help. Money raised will go towards the family's travel accommodations. Two buildings on North Access Road will receive a facelift. Chetwin residents will notice the change to these two buildings on 4616 and 4620 North Access Road. Also, a third building has the green light for construction with a similar design on 4624 North Access Road. These are the designs submitted to Council from Alda Developments and Leasing. Chetwin councillors approved the plan that would also see the replacement of the cement sidewalk, removal of existing fencing, sheds, storage buildings, and add additional paved parking. A chunk of land in the heart of Chetwin is in the process of being sold. The District of Chetwin has now informed the public that they plan on selling a piece of land behind the IGA. Lakeview Credit Union plans on purchasing the property for $240,000. The land was formerly occupied by the Chetwin Motor Inn before closing down and later being demolished. A letter is being sent to the province regarding a new emergency act and spill response. Chetwin's emergency coordinator Leo Sabolski suggests regional training sessions once the new act is passed. Sabolski also recommends that ministries such as the Ministry of Environment come to all communities to explain how to use the many charts on their websites. The Ministry of State and the Ministry of Environment ask all communities to weigh in on the new Emergency Act and spill response. Council approved Sabolski's recommendations along with the inclusion of the protection of the environment as part of the parcel of the new Emergency BC plan. The RCMP is investigating an attempted break and enter in Chetwind. The attempt happened on Friday night with Lone Star Sports, the target. Police found fingerprints while bricks with a cord were located nearby. Anyone with any information is asked to contact the Chetwind RCMP. The Chetwind Chamber of Commerce is looking for a buyer and removal of the Chamber of Commerce building. The building is located at 5217 North Access Road and interested parties will need to dismantle, clean up and remove the building at their own cost. The chamber is now looking to operate out of a new location closer to the downtown core. Um, where to now for the chamber is uh, we're looking at focusing 100% into the business community, find out um, what uh, their concerns are, the road that Chetwin should be taking by means of economic development. The downturn in the Peace region has um, affected all the communities. So we want to know what we can do for them, be the voice for the local businesses. So now possibly moving on out of this location will give us some freedom to be more downtown, be more hands-on, and also I'll have the opportunity to actually be working in the security of the downtown core and I am by myself right now so that's one of the um, reasons why we're also looking at moving the building so I will be working with um, other people in the same building. The Chamber will select the most attractive proposal at a later date with the Board of Directors making the decision. The deadline for proposals is February 19th at 2 p.m. Right now we're going to take a look at weather. Joining us now is Marlon Gomez with the cold temperatures returning. I'm sure glad it's your turn to do the weather. Yeah, it's actually not too bad right now. The temperature is sitting roughly at around minus 5 degrees, which isn't too bad, but 
That's not going to last for long because tonight the temperature will drop down to minus 19 degrees. The good news, however, is that we have some sunny days coming up ahead along with some warm temperatures, so you won't need to bundle up as much. I'll tell you more about that coming up in your five day forecast, but first we're going to take a break. Don't go anywhere. Welcome to the Lion Inn and Suites. It is our pleasure to show you our incredibly beautiful rooms designed for the worker, tourist, and families visiting the Chetwind area. Ken and Lily have hired the very best contractors and searched out the very best furniture and appliances for each room. The Lion has rooms for every need. Select the rooms of your choice and enjoy comfy beds and use their kitchens and appreciate immaculate new bathrooms. You'll be delighted to find washers and dryers for your use fast Wi-Fi connections, and flat screen TVs for your viewing pleasure. You'll be delighted and always return to the Lion in Chetwin because the rooms are spacious, cuisine tickets to the Red Lion restaurant are given as bonuses, and service is always pleasant and professional. The Lion is located at 5132 46th Avenue Northwest. Call us at 250-788-9990. Call for a reservation today. Wind turbines in the Zona Beck area? Chet TV talks to the applicant Natural Forces on their wind farm proposal and residents around the Lone Prairie, Zona Beck and Dickey Bush areas about their concerns on the project. Chet TV provides an in-depth look on the proposal answering all your questions. For scheduling visit peacefm.ca or stay tuned on Bell 655 East Link Channel 40 or on air on Channel 55. Chet TV, your station. Welcome back. So as I mentioned earlier, it is going to get colder tonight, but nothing to worry about as later on in the week, it is going to get gradually warmer. Let's go ahead and take a look at your five day forecast here in Chetwind. Tonight, the temperature will drop down to minus 19 degrees. Wednesday will be mainly sunny with a high of minus 12 and only a slight drop down to minus 11 as the day comes to an end. Then on Thursday, that sun will continue and the temperature will be steady sitting around minus five for the whole day. Moving into the weekend, it will be above the freezing mark, which is nice. Friday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 2 degrees, and Saturday's high will be plus 3. Let's move on to your Peace Region's 5-day forecast, starting off with Dawson Creek. The forecast there, very similar to Chet Wentz. Tonight's low will be minus 19 degrees. Wednesday and Thursday will be sunny, and just like Chet Wentz, Dawson will have a high of about minus 12 on Wednesday, followed by a high of minus 5 on Thursday. The same goes for the weekend with a high of 2 on Friday and a high of plus 3 on Saturday. Over to Fort St. John now. Tonight, the temperature there only slightly better with a low of minus 16 degrees. Wednesday will be partly sunny, but there is a 40% chance of snow. Thursday will be mostly sunny with the temperature staying at around minus 5 for the whole day. Moving into the weekend, same as Chetwin and Dawson Creek with daytime temperatures going to above 0. Let's take a look at Prince George now. Even though it's also going to be warmer, there's a chance of showers and even some light flurries later on in the week. Tonight, it will drop down to minus 11 degrees. Then on Wednesday, there's a 60% chance of snow late in the afternoon. Thursday, we'll be sitting right at the freezing mark for most of the day, but once again, there is that 30% chance of snow. Friday looks good temperature-wise with a high of 6 degrees, but on the downside, there is a chance of rain. And on Saturday, people there can expect a mix of sun and cloud with a high of one degree. Okay, and finally, let's take a look at Grand Prairie tonight. People there can expect a low of about minus 20. Wednesday, there's going to be a mix of sun and cloud with a high of 12 degrees. Thursday, there's a 30% chance of flurries with a high of minus three. And on the weekend, it's going to be sunny with both days reaching a high of plus two. So over the next five days, the Peace Region will gradually warm up and most places will see some sunny days. 
Prince George and Grand Prairie will be the exception to that, given that they might get some snow and rain. That's for Peace Reasons 5-Day Forecast. I'll send it back to you, Robert. Thanks, Marlon. We'll now send things over to Matt Nicholson for your Peace Region Sports Update. Thanks, Robert. Looking at the weekend in the NWJHL, the Junior Canucks lost at home to the North Peace Navigator 7-5 Friday. The Junior Canucks led 5-3 going into the third, but a few undisciplined penalties and bad bounces resulted in four unanswered Navigator markers for the win. Also on Friday, the Vipers beat the JDA Kings in Grand Prairie 4-3. Jacob Krupp had 35 saves in between the pipes for Sexsmith. The Flyers beat the Huskies at home 6-4. Ryan McCauley led the way for the Flyers with two goals and an assist. On Saturday, the JDA Kings lost to the Navigators in Peace River 7-3. Austin Kuhn led the way for the Navigators with two goals and two assists. The Huskies beat the Vipers in Sexsmith 4-1. Jacob Lang scored twice to help the Huskies stay ahead of the Vipers in the standings. And the Blades lost to the Vipers 5-2. Liam Yazinski and Cole Weeb each had a pair of goals for the Flyers in the win. Looking at the NWJHL standings after the weekend, the Flyers remain in first place with four games remaining and 56 points total. The Navigators behind them, four games remaining, 54 points. JDA Kings behind them, five games remaining, 35 points. Huskies have four games left, 34 points. The Vipers have five games left with 31 points. The Junior Canucks have six games remaining with a total of 10 points. And the Blades are in last place, four games remaining with a total of eight points. In NAMHL action, the Northeast BC UConn Trackers defeated the Big Lakes Thunder 5-4 Saturday and 6-1 Sunday. Both matchups were on the road for the Trackers. The pair of wins leaves the Trackers in third place in the Bear Slashing Division with 32 points. The MPHL regular season wrapped up on Saturday with the Dawson Creek Canucks falling 1-0 to Spirit River. Dawson Creek will now face Fort St. John in a best-of-five playoff series beginning February 2nd. That concludes the Peace Region Sports Update. Back to you, Robert. Thanks, Matt. After the break, we're going to take a look at what's happening in your community with Jeff Hill. And of course, we'll have your book review. Stay with us. Finally, the 2015 Chetwin International Chainsaw Carving Championship documentary is ready. The Chet TV production Nearly Lost dives headfirst into the background of the championship and how the competition almost didn't happen in 2015. For the first time, Chet TV brings you away from the carvings and goes behind the scenes with the carvers. And of course, find out who takes home top prize. Chet TV on Bell 655 Eastlink Channel 40 and on air on Channel 55. Chet TV, your station. These outdoor enthusiasts know that their hike will be enjoyable. It helps that they are prepared for whatever adventure awaits them. That means planning ahead before you even step outside. Plan a travel route. They are going to www.adventuresmart.ca for a sample trip plan. Make sure you carry the essentials, extra food and water, emergency blankets, first aid kit, sunscreen, fire starting kit, enough clothing for an extra day, and flashlights. After checking the weather forecast and letting friends and family know how long and where they are going, these two are ready for their hike. When the Japs bombed Pearl Harbor, they upset our thinking about a great many things, including Alaska. The great Japanese air and naval base at Paramushiro was only 750 miles from Attu. Attu was only 1,200 miles from the mainland of Alaska. And Japs in Alaska would be a direct threat to the west coast of America and also to the interior. With Canada's consent, the United States War Department decided to build a military highway from Rails End at Dawson Creek, British Columbia, to Fairbanks, Alaska, to link up and supply these airfields and to provide emergency access to Alaska for troops and materiel. 
Tourism Dawson Creek official film The Signal Corps and Chet TV presents a one hour special on the new tour of the Mile Zero Alaska Highway that is coming to Dawson Creek. Watch a presentation on the new tour, explore the routes and hear the experts highlight what to look forward to. Watch a short movie on the highway produced by Signal Corps and learn about some of the books that chronicle the construction of the Alcan Highway available at the Pine Tree Bookstore in Chetwind. Stay tuned to Chet TV Channel 40 on Eastlink, 655 on Bell and 55 on Air. Welcome back. Let's take a look at what's happening in your community. For that, we go to Jeff Hill. Thanks, Rob. There's a ton of hockey happening in the piece over the next two weeks and other fun activities. So let's jump right into it. Our first event is on February the 3rd. The Junior Canucks battle at home against the Fort St. John Huskies. The puck drops at 8 p.m. Tickets are $10 for adults and $5 for kids and seniors. Next on the list is a coffee house night. Powder King Resort is hosting an evening full of live music by local artists. The event will be happening on February 6th at 7 p.m. and admission is free. Then on February 7th, the Rec Center is hosting a chocolate fun run. If you've been slacking on that New Year's resolution to be more active, then this is the perfect way to get the ball rolling. The run starts at noon and people will run a total of 5K. Admission is $5 for adults and $3 for teenagers. Call the Rec Center to save your spot. Also happening that weekend are three Junior Canucks games. The first two will be at home and the final one will be in Peace River, Alberta. The first home game is on Friday at 8 p.m. against the Beaver Lodge Blades. Then on Saturday, the Canucks play on home ice again, this time facing the Sexsmith Vipers at 8 p.m. And finally on Sunday, the Canucks go on the road to face the North Peace Navigators. This is a rescheduled game from earlier on in the season. That game will start at 3.30 p.m. Tickets for all games are $10 for adults and $5 for kids and seniors. And our last event is a Valentine's Dinner and Dance on February 13th. The Farmington Community Association is hosting the dance, followed by some live music from Morgan McGowan. Doors will open at 7 p.m. with a beef dinner being served at 7.30. For tickets, call the number listed below or you can buy them at the Tiger Stationers in Dawson Creek. That's all the events we have for you, so get out there and attend as many activities as you can. I'll send it back to you, Rob. Thanks, Jeff. Before we say goodbye, we'll check in with our station general manager, Leo Sobolski at Pine Tree Books. My name is Leo Sobolski and I'm doing a very special book report from the studios of Peace FM and Chet TV and Pine Tree Books. This is a very special book and I have a special story this week. Last week on January 27th was a very special day. Norm Konachowski emailed us and Norm turned around and said that January 27th was the day that the Soviet tanks moved into Auschwitz. What was the connection between Peace FM, Chet TV and Pine Tree Books and the opening of Auschwitz in Germany? His grandfather was one of the last prisoners at Auschwitz. Now this is incredible. He called in later and he told the story. How did Norm Konachowski's grandfather come to Dawson Creek. Well, a Canadian soldier he met eventually showed him a map of Canada. On the map of Canada was the Peace River, the Peace River. And he decided to go to the most peaceful place in the world and he selected Dawson Creek. So when he came to Canada and Montreal, he took the train right across and ended up in Dawson Creek. I would like to thank Norm Konachowski for calling us and telling us the story of his grandfather, the closing of Auschwitz, and his coming to Dawson Creek. Thank you very much. And if you need a book of the pictures to demonstrate how beautiful the Peace River is, this is the book. And Don Pettit, he has signed every one of the books. And if you need peace, 
some evening and you just want to look and see, just page through the book, read the scripts along the way and enjoy the beautiful, peaceful nature of the book, The Peace. So that's one really good thing that happened in the last 10 days. Second thing that we're doing right now as we speak is we're ordering books for the spring and summer for kids. So what we're doing is we're looking at all the new books that have been published in the last six months, 10 months. And what's really good is you can give these books as presents. And that's the way we look at it. Get your kids reading and they'll treasure the books. I remember the books I have and I have some of them still. I've given some to my uh, kids and my grandkids, but I remember and treasure the books that were given to me. So I'm going to go over some of the books that we have. So in our world, books are comfortable. So I'm going to go over a few of them. This is an interesting book, uh, Adventure Net book. It's Discover the Mystery of the Gold Rush, the Klondike Ring. Ring. And it's written by Andrea and David Spaulding, and it's a good book incredible book and it's kind of for our area if you travel into Hudson Hope or Taylor take a gold pan along and see if you can get some gold from the river interesting book I'll be calling Andrea and Dave uh, in the next little while and see if they can come and do a live reading when we have an open house at Peace FM, Chet TV and Pine Tree Books excellent book a must read and if you have the kids aboard this summer, give them a pan. Tell them to go and find some gold. Then they can become independently rich and move out of the house and support you. Okay? Now, kids like books, right? Well, Sylvia Olson, who has lots of connections to Chetwin West Moberly, she's written a lot of books. And this is one of hers, Molly's Praise. And it's about this girl who goes and helps others. Excellent book. If you see Sylvia this summer, tell her you got her book from Pine Tree Books. Now, this is a, a nice book. It's an Orca book, and I order a lot of stuff uh, from Orca. And it's The Big Snapper by Catherine Holubitsky. And Holubitsky writes a lot of stuff that's adventurous. And she is actually traveling around right now. So you may see. Uh, Catherine Holubitsky in Chetwin very, very soon. Nice book. Now, this lady here, she's a favorite. Everyone should know Shirley Smith Matheson. She's from Hudson Hope. She's from Chetwin. Now she's in Calgary. Trader, why didn't you stay in the area and write your books here? Come on, Shirley, move back to Chetwin, pay taxes, and uh, come back and write some more. Fastback Beach. It's a story for, about youth, crime, and it's exciting. So Shirley has written that. Good book to give to a kid. Now everyone who knows me knows that I like pigs because I was a pig farmer. I enjoy this book, Vicky Grants. And it's en français, it's cochon, and you can come and read this book. It's a French book about a family and their pig. That's a really good looking pig, hey? Eh? Get this book for your child who is in French immersion. Now, a lot of people turn around and want to give kids books that they're really interested in. Well, this one is for boys. It's Thunderbird Spirit, and it's an orca book by Sigmund, and it's all about hockey. And one thing I like about this book is I'm gonna give it to my grandson. The print is big, that's really good. And it may sound silly, but it's easier to read if you just sort of la, 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 and read it. Good book. It's very straightforward. Thunderbird Spirit. Last book I'm going to focus on is uh, a really good book. It's Quid Pro Quo. Kids like to think they're detectives. So this book is a book about kids who think they're detectives. They got big heads, and they're off to the world solving crime. Somewhat like the Hardy Boys. Did you like the Hardy Boys when you were a kid? You probably did. Nancy Drew, uh, this one is well done on 
uh, and written very, very recently. So for kids, all of these books are available at Pine Tree Books, Peace FM, Chet TV Studios, and remember the story of Norm Konachowski. Would you select Dawson Creek, Chetwin, the Peace River, for your home of peace? Norm Konachowski's grandfather did. Did it live up to his expectations? Talking to Norm, it did. So this is Leo Sabalski from Peace FM, Chet TV, and Pine Tree Books signing off. That's all the time we have for today. From all of us at Chet TV News, I'm Robert Springett, and thanks for joining us. Chet TV is owned and operated by the Chetwin Communication Society. You can find us on Channel 655 on Bell, East Link Channel 40, or on Air Channel 55. Chet TV, your station. Welcome to the Lion Inn and Suites. It is our pleasure to show you our incredibly beautiful rooms designed for the worker, tourist, and families visiting the Chetwind area. Ken and Lily have hired the very best contractors and searched out the very best furniture and appliances for each room. The Lion has rooms for every need. Select the rooms of your choice and enjoy comfy beds and use their kitchens and appreciate immaculate new bathrooms. You'll be delighted to find washers and dryers for your use fast Wi-Fi connections, and flat screen TVs for your viewing pleasure. You'll be delighted and always return to the Lion in Chetwin because the rooms are spacious, cuisine tickets to the Red Lion restaurant are given as bonuses, and service is always pleasant and professional. The Lion is located at 5132 46th Avenue Northwest. Call us at 250-788-9990. Call for a reservation today. Wind turbines in the Zona Beck area? Chet TV talks to the applicant Natural Forces on their wind farm proposal and residents around the Lone Prairie, Zona Beck and Dickey Bush areas about their concerns on the project. Chet TV provides an in-depth look on the proposal answering all your questions. For scheduling visit peacefm.ca or stay tuned on Bell 655 East Link Channel 40 or on air on Channel 55. Chet TV, your station. Finally, the 2015 Chetwin International Chainsaw Carving Championship documentary is ready. The Chet TV production Nearly Lost dives headfirst into the background of the championship and how the competition almost didn't happen in 2015. For the first time, Chet TV brings you away from the carvings and goes behind the scenes with the carvers. And of course, find out who takes home top prize. Chet TV on Bell 655 Eastlink Channel 40 and on air on Channel 55. Chet TV, your station. These outdoor enthusiasts know that their hike will be enjoyable. It helps that they are prepared for whatever adventure awaits them. That means planning ahead before you even step outside. 
plan a travel route. They are going to www.adventuresmart.ca for a sample trip plan. Make sure you carry the essentials, extra food and water, emergency blankets, first aid kit, sunscreen, fire starting kit, enough clothing for an extra day, and flashlights. After checking the weather forecast and letting friends and family know how long and where they are going, these two are ready for their hike.